I don't think my underarm is shaved, so don't look at that. Ay, ay, I'm dancing to nothing because I was dancing to music, but don't want to get copywritten, so I had to turn that off. So, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the weird introduction, but my name is Tatiana and I'm the owner of the Stationary Muse. You guys are in the right place if you just want to see some randomness. So I have been trying to film this vlog all week long. Today is actually Friday and it's just been one of those weeks. I've been so productive and getting things done and then I'll start the vlog and then I'll look up and it's like 5 o'clock and I'm just like... Oh, I never finished vlogging so there might be some like random clips within here that I share with you guys because there was some good footage I think but I've never really like put it all together or had it make any sense so I just wanted to come on here and just say hey um, it's been an interesting week and I'm trying to get things together I've been prepping for the July no, we're in June now. The June Live Love Inspire box. Getting all of that stuff together. I've been sharing some stuff on stories this week as far as what I'm doing with that. You guys, the stuff is so cute. Like, look at the little deco sheet. Look at the little deco sheet. And the girl, she's waiting on her whatever to come get her. She has her luggage and she's ready to go. And then I did a $2 Tuesday this week with some new stuff. I put up a video showing all of the new products in the shop. So I'll link that around here. So if you guys want to check that out and see all the new stuff that came to the shop, there is a ton of it. And I've been working on a brand new product that will not be releasing until mid-July. But I'm so excited about it. I cannot wait to share it. I'm going to probably start talking a little bit more about it towards the end of this month. But just know that it is a very inspiring product. I'm always trying to come up with ways to inspire the... Um, but to motivate you guys to do things that you want to do and I personally love stationery and I know that there are so many people that still do it's so funny because um, when I did that craft fair this one lady came up and she was like yeah I really <laughs> let me not make fun of her voice but she was just like yeah I really thought that stationery was dead and I'm like um excuse me excuse me but no I was just like really I think that just like anything, everybody has their own interests. Now, as much as like snail mail and all that kind of stuff is, you know, that could, I could see where you could see that would be a dying thing. Not so many people send cards anymore and stuff like that. I'm still a card sender and apparently there are still, there is still a market for it because stores would not still carry cards and you wouldn't still see all these people standing in front of these places, um, trying to pick out cards for people. So there is a market for it, but I think sometimes people can just be kind of ignorant to the fact. But anyway, so for my girls that are still interested in stationery, um, there's gonna be a really, really nice product that I'm coming out with and I'm hoping that it will change just some mindsets and um, help you to stay motivated with the big goals that you're trying to accomplish, whether it is for the year, the month, whatever it is. So more to come on that, but I am, in the process of picking out the PR team, I put up um, an application, I think it was like two weeks ago, and I closed it last weekend. And so all week, I've been having it on my list to do, so I finally sat down and went through the application. So thank you to everybody that applied. If you are watching this video, I appreciate all of you for taking the time out to fill that out. Um, there were some really amazing entries and some great stories and stuff. It's just, I'm such a small business and I can only choose um, a very small amount of people. I have the name Star that I'm narrowed it down to like six, but I really only wanted to have three or four. Um, so I'm gonna just kind of sit on it for a little bit, but my hope is that I can figure it out and get an email to them tomorrow, so Saturday. I just did a whole bunch of talking and I just wanted to basically check in, but I'm gonna show you guys some of the clips from this week and just catch you up on what I was doing. And again, I do not know what all was on there, but we'll see. I am out right now and I'm getting ready to go get a shirt. So I thought I'll bring you guys along for a PR box. So typically, like if I just have to do like some one-off shirt stuff, I will just go to the craft store. Hobby Lobby actually has these really nice softer material shirts. So I actually really like it because the other ones, they they work like when I'm doing, if I need to do like a demo one or something or like something that I need to create, 
really fast and I don't feel like waiting to, for it to ship out. I will get one of those because it's for myself, but like I really try not to do those for actually like people that are going to be purchasing stuff. If you are into t-shirt making or anything like that, um, then you will definitely like it because they are a lot softer. Anyway, if you've been following along at all with me on social media, then you will have saw that, actually this is a lot, um, you will have saw that I scratched my cornea last week. So it was bad y'all like it was so bad i was playing with my daughter on the couch and then somehow i scratched like my thumbnail like hit my eye somehow and it took a decent amount off like i'll try to see if i can insert a photo um of what it looked like at when i actually finally did go to the eye doctor but i was in so much pain and so now it's about a week later. Tomorrow will be a week since it happened. And uh, I pretty much feel back to normal. I do need to get this contact lens removed though. They put a contact lens over it to kind of act as a band-aid to help it healing quicker. And then also to help it just from like the pain in general of, you know, like the opening and closing of eyelashes or not eyelashes, the opening and closing of your lids. So I need to get that removed. I've never had contacts before in my life. I don't know nothing about taking no contacts out. So I need the doctor to take it out for me because I'm too scared to touch my eye. Especially with what happened. Like I don't want to scratch something else because this eye is already sensitive and has a lot going on. So um, I need to actually see what's going on with that. They were supposed to call me and then they didn't. And I got kind of caught up in this day. But now I'm pretty much back to normal for the most part. But my eye is still very sensitive to light. So I have these obnoxious glasses on these are the darkest ones that I have besides the ones that they gave me at the um, eye doctor which I really don't want to have to put these on so I don't know but anyway I thought I would bring you guys along because I am gonna be working this evening working on some stuff I kind of got caught up my dad called me and then I ended up getting distracted with that that's the one thing when you live away from family people tend to call you and especially like for me like I'm at home with my daughter so you know people tend to think like oh she's free which I mean I am and I can talk but I have gotten so and tell me if this is you like before I got pregnant I could literally have like 10 different things going on at one time I wouldn't miss a beat I could be on the phone I could be having a show on um I could be I don't know writing a paper like when I was in school I could be doing all these different things and I would be fine but now it's like I literally cannot do more than one thing at a time my mind just shuts down and it really sucks so like if somebody calls me I try my best to keep it going but then it's like I don't hear what they're saying and then I'm like what did you say so it just it turns into this whole thing where I don't know what it is and I hate to say it was pregnancy brain slash mom brain but y'all what else to blame it on because I used to be I used to brag about how good at multitasking I was because I could do so much at one time and now sometimes I can't even really like watch a show and like do something at the same time because I don't know it's just weird it's like my maybe it's just getting older I don't know but tell me if you struggle with that and anyway I'll see you guys at Hobby Lobby okay, so this is definitely a situation when you're trying to focus the camera and you can't sit there and focus it at the same time, so you got to use what's around you. A little life hack, grab a lamp. It's probably about the size of your head, so why Today not? Today is just going to be kind of like a overall catch-up kind of day. Um, I'm starting some box prep to get ready for the subscription boxes. They're going to be going out in about a week and a half to two weeks. So I've been starting to work on that stuff. I've print and cut half of the stickers. And now I need to print and cut the other half. Um, so I'm going to have that going today. Um, also, I'm getting ready to send out a PR box to Lisa Mack. Her birthday is tomorrow, so I'm really excited about that um, to send it to her. And I have to go through PR team applications because um, if you guys applied, thank you, first of all, to those that did apply. But I'm so excited to go through all of them and just see all of the amazing ladies um, to pick my group. We'll see. I It's always hard. This is why I don't like doing stuff like this. Um, I don't like to make decisions. I just like to not make decisions. And that's with everything. I'm just, my mom always makes fun of me because I just hate having to like decide. So anyway, this is the little pack. I'm gonna keep it 
with the back but this is the packet with all of the um, submissions um, it has like their names and their answers and everything so I'm really excited to go through it but let's see what else do I got going on so other than that um I'm I want to talk to you guys so bad about this new product that I'm coming out with but I'm gonna do it the right way and I'm gonna hold out and I'm gonna build up to it but what I will say is that it has to do with goal setting and it's a tool that can help you with it hold you accountable but also um, keep you keep you going through the process so I'm excited to talk about that but I can't share it just yet um, anyway I just wanted I'm mentioning that because that's one of the things I'm going to be sending to her she's getting kind of like one of the prototypes that I um, so I can get some feedback on it and everything before I send it officially out to my PR people because they're going to be getting this product as well so if you do end up being on the PR team um, you will be one of the first to get this and I'm just so excited about it oh my god I'm so excited about it okay so anyway um, I finally cleaned my office up you guys and it looks so good so of course right now Emery is sleeping so I'm taking advantage and doing this little intro but yeah so right now the office is I mean I'm working so of course it's like a little messy but compared to what it was you guys I just I can't even um, describe to you I'm actually thinking about making a little vinyl decal to go in this little recycle container that'd be kind of cute like in the mint color so I might make that soon but um, this is just an overview of how clean it is I'm obsessed I'll give you guys like a little mini tour but yeah, so basically I switched the desks around. I don't know if I ever ended up showing that in the video or if it was just on stories on Instagram, but basically I switched the desk around a little bit. So this is kind of the new view in here. I love it, my little filming setup. And then, yeah, so it's just the desk, kind of like an L shape and then over here, I like all this little work area. Do not mind this broke down uh, MacBook Pro, y'all. This was my computer from college. And I'm still riding with it. I've watched YouTube videos on here while I'm working, so don't make fun of me. But this thing is like, it's bad. But the, I got this in 2008. Like, this is a really, really old computer. So, yeah. And then I got my actual one down here that's charging right now. But I love my whole little setup. Like, I really set it up really nice. I love it. I got Alexa over there. I don't think she's plugged up. Or, or yeah, she's not plugged in right now. And um, yeah, this is just kind of my little setup. Over here is the craft table, and I'm getting ready to work on some stuff. Ooh, you can kind of see the product, but I'm not gonna show it. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I'm just getting ready to get to work and everything. These are actually some of the journaling cards that I'm gonna be foiling for the box, so I'm excited about that. And I think I will do an actual um, unboxing video. This time I haven't done any in a couple months, but um, I know some people do like watching those. So I will make sure that I film one for this July box or July, I keep saying that. I will make sure that I film one for this June box. And then I wanted to show you guys this too. This is actually a tank from one of the boxes last year. And it's actually in the shop now. I've been slowly trying to bring back some of the favorites from some of the boxes. And so this tank was a really popular one and I brought this back for summer. Um, by the time you guys are seeing this vlog, it should be up. I'm releasing it this Friday. So yeah, I think it should be in there for sure. I'm not sure when this vlog is going up, but yeah, so there's that. I got all of this stuff that I need to get the tape off of because I I got all of this stuff that I need to get the tape off of because I'm using it to cut and print stickers. We got our sticker pile over here growing. This is about half of them. So I just need to get my life together. That's basically what today is about. Isn't that what every day is about though, honestly? And then in here, I love this little area in the closet. It's kind of just got like some stock stuff. So I like it. And I have some of the products from that trade show that I did, the craft fair that I did. Um, I always want to say trade show, but I guess it, the proper term is craft fair, I was told. So, um, but yeah, I have like some notebooks, very cute. Um, tons of different types of pouches and these little drawstring bags and things. You guys are seeing some of the new products that are not even released yet, but basically the point is trying to get organized and just have everything nicely set up. So this is what I'm working with right now. So yeah, just checking in with you guys. I am hard at work. I got my little soup over there on my desk and then I'm just watching some vlogs. 
Do you guys watch Gay Babe TV? That's what I just got done watching. She is actually a soul roar now. So if you guys are AKA, hey. Um, okay, so I am printing some stickers. Look at this cute little sticker sheet. This is one of them for the, this is the other half that I'm printing now for the box. So just working on that. Looking pretty good. I'm, these machines always make me nervous because it's like, I don't know if it's gonna be a good day or a bad day. You just never really know what you're gonna get. And then I'm foiling these little cards. They have this pretty, pretty pink foil on them. Not sure how it's looking. I haven't peeled one off yet to see. Ooh, yeah, look at that guy. So fun. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. I just wanted to check in, but yeah, Emery is still sleeping right now, so. Just working on it, but right now I'm watching Alex and Michael. Somebody's awake and they are peeling the foil off of the journaling cards for one of you guys, lucky guys. <laughs> one of you lucky ladies box. She peeled your foil off for you. Can you see that? Summer, summer, summertime. It's pretty, isn't it? Emery. Hi. Hi. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah, she's just up from her nap. Say hi. I have to go to a hopefully final appointment for my eyes, so I'm going to get her dressed in a little bit. But um, I've actually been getting a lot done. The stickers are making their way slowly. I'm doing the more um, personalized ones now, so there's a stencil on one of the sheets, so I have to look at like a spreadsheet to make sure that I'm getting that together properly so everybody gets their correct stuff. And Okay, she's trying to say mama, you guys, but she can't. her tongue is in the way, so she's saying mama, mama. But what about mama? <coughs> mama? <coughs> but what about mama? Can you say it? Can you say it? No? 